In a three-day attack in 2015, Islamic militants killed 17 people, including 11 employees of the French satirical newspaper Charlie Hebdo. The Paris attack was revenge against the magazine for publishing caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad in 2006 and 2012 that offended some Muslims. As the trial began this month of 14 alleged collaborators, the magazine defiantly reprinted the drawings. Protesters burned Israeli and U.S. flags at the French embassy in Tehran. And Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, said, The cardinal and unforgivable sin of a French magazine in insulting the holy face of the prophet once again revealed the hatred and hostility of the political and cultural institutions of the Western world against Islam and the Muslim community. That sweeping characterization is misleading. In fact, Charlie Hebdo has aimed at satire at other religions, not just Islam. Nor has the West always embraced Charlie Hebdo's in-your-face style. Charlie Hebdo has been accused of anti-Semitism. It has published cartoons mocking Jesus and the Catholic Church. Even disaster victims were fair game. A 2016 cartoon depicted a lasagna stuffed with corpses from an Italian earthquake. A 2012 cartoon showing a nude depiction of Muhammad caused the most outrage in the Muslim world, but also in the West. The White House spokesman criticized it. French authorities tried to stop Charlie Hebdo, then shut down embassies and schools in 20 countries for fear of reprisal. After the 2015 Paris attack, six prominent Western writers protested when an anti-censorship group gave Charlie Hebdo an award. They said the paper promoted, quote, cultural intolerance, unquote. And after deadly terrorist attacks in Barcelona in August 2017, Western politicians condemned Charlie Hebdo again for a cartoon critical of Islam.